Thank you, Emily. Always great to see Sun Devils turning into Pro Devils, whether that's on the ice, the field, or the court, which is why we're bringing in Olivia Eisenhower for a preview of Sun Devil men's basketball as the season rapidly approaches. Olivia. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. And from a former Sun Devil basketball star to a current one, Marcus Bagley is officially back for his sophomore season with ASU men's basketball. And he now has an all Pac-12 preseason first team selection to add to his trophy case. After a turbulent offseason that consisted of Bagley withdrawing from the NBA draft as well as the transfer portal, it is clear that he is expected to lead the Sun Devils and be a premier player in the Pac-12. The former top 30 recruit is the only sophomore that received a first team selection by the media. We're getting it started off with, um, wait, Connor, is, is it a little hot in here to you? Most definitely. Ike, Ryan, I think we need to grab a fan because uh, these football unis that ASU rocked Thursday night, they're hot with a capital H-O-T. And the team followed suit. Rashad White, Chip Trainum combining for four touchdowns on the ground while Darian Butler getting it done on the defensive end with two interceptions in the first half. With less than a month remaining before the start of the 2020-21 college basketball season, ASU basketball, as well as the rest of the Pac-12, received some very big news regarding the outlook of the upcoming season. This consisted of the conference releasing their full schedule for 2021. However, there's a little twist this time around. This is because for the first time ever, the Pac-12 has expanded to a 20-game conference schedule, with each team playing two conference games during the usual non-conference time frame of early to mid-December, and then 18 games from December 30th to early March. So what does this mean for the Sun Devils? Bobby Hurley's squad will play every Pac-12 team twice, except for Stanford and Colorado. In addition to this, ASU will play at Cal on December 3rd and welcome the Utah Utes to Desert Financial Arena on the 22nd during this new early conference period. Keith, it's your first time behind the anchor desk. Welcome to it. But you also look fantastic. Did you do something new with the hair? Yes, it is my first time, and yes, I did do something with the hair. Ryan, it's great to be here next to you, and I gotta tell you, you were looking great two weeks ago, and I said, I wanna be like Ryan Blank. I wanna get on the short hair train, and here we are. But Ryan, enough about me. I heard you had some thoughts on ASU's dominant football win this weekend. 